Ah, you are from the continent, are you not? You are different than the people from here. Delighted to see you again, Sister Ephesia. Father Petrus, is that really you? What are you doing here? Merely a courtesy call. How might I help you? Have you been here for a long time? Since the beginning of my investigation. A few weeks, perhaps. Although it feels like months. I'm not particularly fond of the wild, and I find this place unsettling. I see. Anything else? How has your mission fared up until now, sister? Not very well, I'm afraid. I haven't been able to get much from these villagers. Their chief and their... priest are evasive when questioned. As for the other natives, their behavior can be quite odd. They'll spend hours just staring into the void. But as soon as I come close, they chase me away. They frighten me, I must admit. There is a heavy veil of evil here. I feel it, but I'm not able to find from whence it comes. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. Anything else? That will be all, Sister Ephesia. Thank you. Karantz, do you need something? I'm sorry about what happened to your mother. How are you feeling? Unwell. I am angry. And I feel an immense void within me. I blame myself for not having been on this battlefield with her. I understand and I'm really sorry. I wish I could have arrived here in time to prevent this war. Thank you, Hanol Manawi, but it was too late. I should have realized this and stayed by my mother's side. Anything else? Do you have anyone, a friend perhaps, whom you can talk to in this trying time? I usually confide in my sister, but she's suffering too. And I think she resents me for not having been there when our mother needed me. I know we've only known each other for a little while, but if you need someone to talk to, I'm here. Thank you, Anal Manawi. You are a good person. And I'm glad that you are my friend. Anything else? I must leave you. Anything new? No. The investigation has gone stale. The villagers won't even engage in conversation with me now. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may... Good day. Are you the wise man of this village? Burt tir du mud, renaikse. Oi and the donegad. Yes. I would like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. The people of your island are constantly asking questions, yet reject any answers that displease them. Questions have no value when one already claims to know the answers. But. It is your case. You believe you know the answers. You seek only their echo. Answer your own questions. At least then the answers will please you, and we shall be done with your foolishness. That is not what I... Kwa Awelemseg. 
May your answers fill your day with bounty. Dear Tumad, on all Menawi, I am Derdra, daughter of Enora, daughter of Rowena, Mal of this clan. What do you seek? Can you tell me something about your beliefs? We believe that we are part of an everything, and that life depends on a balance that comes from this everything. Our strength is drawn from that which we protect, all that surrounds us, and that which surrounds us feeds and protects us in return. What can you tell me about your rituals? Ah, oh, you have heard this question before. You sound like the mind shaker woman. The rituals are the business of the Donegada, not of the Renoixe. Anything more? Concerning this story about a cult... Enough! Enough questions! I have nothing more to say. Alone, Monisanai. Traitor. An Anolmenawe does not wear the dress of the strangers. Birtir to Madre Naikse. Good day. Do you want something? Could you answer a few questions? Questions, questions. It is a word that you adore. Let us play a game. If you answer my questions, I will answer yours. If it's the only way to get answers, then. Let's play. I am pleased. We will have fun. But beware, no lies. What name is given the place from where you come? I come from Serene, a grand city on the continent of Gekane. Really? It is possible that you come from there, but I believe that this is not your land. Your turn. What can you tell me about the rituals? Oh, I see what interests you. You want to know how our warriors are so strong, but I don't have an answer. It is a secret of the Donega. The rituals I know are made to celebrate nature, to honor and bring her blessings upon us. Let's try something else. Are you on all Menawi with your land, or did you inherit your link from your parents? I'm not bound, or at least I haven't done anything in particular to bind myself. Then it was your parents. One of them at least must have been Donegad. Your turn. This is a delicate question, but would you know anything about a demon? A demon? I think that that is what the bright and shiny mind shakers call the spirits, no? There are spirits everywhere. In you, and in us, in each tree, in each spring, there is not only one. I cannot tell you more if you are not more precise in what you seek. It was fun. More than with a woman who makes light, she did not want to play.
You have a strange stare, Renaixe. Leave me alone. Erenaixe ya toigen quahesa de elodes, Samer Mila, mach de wegander. Go away, Renaixe. You are not welcome in my home. Birtir to Mad, Anal Manawi. What do you want? This question will seem strange to you, but do you know anything about a demon? A demon? A dark spirit, if you prefer. No. There is no such thing as dark spirits. Your question is not strange. Foolish, perhaps. Tell me about the missionaries that came here. Those who wear the symbol of the sun on their clothing. When they came, they spoke about their bright and shiny god. They told us we were wrong. Said that nature was just nature, and not to be worshipped. These men know nothing. We ignored them. They finally left, and then the woman came to us. She sniffed around everywhere, asking many questions, just like you. I was told that she tried to enter my own home. I even saw her trying to follow me in the woods. She must be careful. It is easy to get lost in the woods or cross paths with wild beasts. What can you tell me about your rituals? Our rituals? Nothing. Nothing at all. They do not concern me. I am not a Denegad. Even you. You should be able to tell that. Why you bother me with these questions? I am only a gatherer. Go and bother someone else. What can you tell me about the beliefs of your village? The beliefs of the village? That is a strange question for an Onol Manawi. Our beliefs are the same as those of the other clans. We believe in the earth that carries us and feeds on our dead, in the rain that quenches us and drowns us, in the beasts that feed us and in those that eat us. I do not know what more I can say to you. Everyone shares these beliefs. I must leave now. Thank you for your help. Anything new? No. The investigation has gone stale. Perhaps you should talk. I managed to exchange a few words with some villagers, but I admit they don't seem keen to talk. And did they tell you anything worth sharing? I know little more about their beliefs. They worship nature and do not intend to change. It is certainly different from the Luminous Faith, but it's hardly demonic worship. Yet, there's something strange about this village. One of the villagers that spoke with me seemed truly worried. On edge, even. I think I know of whom you speak. A man always looking over his shoulder. He often sneaks out of the village like a thief. I attempted to follow him, but he always eludes me. I tried to get into his hut to see if he was hiding anything. But someone was always there. Then we should give it a try. Perhaps we'll fare better. Mm, this fellow did not seem very honest to me. If he's hiding something from us, perhaps we can find out what it is by searching his house. He doesn't look inclined to let us in. We'll have to distract him. We could break one of his pots. That would keep him busy. Or we could ask for help. I can pretend to be clumsy, but we'll have to work fast, and it will only work once. Do you want something? Might I ask you a few questions about the villagers? 
More questions? You really like this game. You really do. If we could avoid the... Very well. But be brief then, because it is not good fun. Where does this man live? Down there. His dwelling... I would like to take a look inside. What? Why would you want to do that? It is his home. You have nothing to do there if you are not invited. I really must go inside. I need to clarify something. If you can help us. This request is strange. I know it is for you as well. But we must prove that the suspicions cast upon our village are not true. These people of Teleme will not give up their search without this. Hmm. Very well. I shall distract him. But be discreet and very quick. And be respectful of what you find there. Be good. This is just a mask they wear in battle to intimidate their enemies. Nothing more. This altar is incredibly morbid. I wonder what sort of spirit could be venerated in this way. This is exactly the kind of proof we've been looking for. An evil cult. Far from some naive veneration of nature and other island spirits. The man that worships a magic lamp speaks of being naive. Oh, how it is charming. Siora, I am sorry. What I really wanted to say was that... Leave it, old man. I know exactly what it is you wanted to say. This painting is frightening. Evoking war. A massacre. A bloodbath under the likeness of a grimacing face. All these gruesome and bloody horrors leave no room for doubt. There is a demonic cult here. We should go tell Sister Ephesia. Did you learn anything? No. Nothing more. Were you able to get inside the nervous man's hut? I was able to sneak into the hut of our mystery man. And what did you discover? Some troubling things. A ritual mask, a rather morbid altar, and a fresco depicting a massacre. By the enlightened! To think these unholy things were so near. Finally, the proof we need that there's a blood-worshipping cult here. They cannot perform their heinous pagan rituals in the village, and I'm certain that it's where our nervous friend sneaks off to. I fail to find where he goes, but you have already proven more competent than I. I shall try. Hopefully, he won't lead us into a trap. Thank you for your help. And good luck. We should wait until nightfall and follow him. we could hide and wait. We would be able to see where this sleepless boy goes during nightfall. My child, it's time to wake up. Our nervous friend is here.
Where could our man have gone? He must have gone through this door, made out of roots. What's happening? You are so pale. Did the lightning-struck tree speak to you? In a way. I, I saw many images. They were so real. As if I was the tree itself. Do tell. This vision is surely the key to the portal. I was this tree. And my branches were shaken by a storm so strongly that... They hurt terribly. The heavens caught fire several times, and I felt the lightning strike and pierce me through and through. A sinister warmth took hold of my entire body in an instant, and flames began to devour me. Life left me. All was calm, and I had a taste of cinder in my mouth. In spite of this, I continued to feel, and the rain began to fall on my roots. And at the very heart of my being, I felt the sap begin to flow again. A shoot appeared on my darkened roots. Then the vision dissipated. I have never experienced anything like it before. The drawing on this stone represents lightning. I must have lit the candles in the wrong order. Radium lightning protect me in this battle! Tell us again exactly what you saw, my child. I was this tree, and my branches were shaken by a storm so strongly that they hurt terribly. Heavens caught fire several times, and I felt the lightning strike and pierce me through and through. A sinister warmth took hold of my entire body in an instant, and flames began to devour me. Life left me. All was calm, and I had a taste of cinder in my mouth. In spite of this, I continued to feel, and the rain began to fall on my roots, and at the very heart of my being, I felt the sap began to flow again. A shoot appeared on my darkened roots. Then the vision dissipated. I have never experienced anything like it before. You did it right. By awakening these stones in the right order, the door opened. Duis, atu daliam canade dole, tadulan vrandi, alaun eles agen ole vei. Closi garamam e telami ol flinau ich egrem, closi gadem da yentis ol arabini a ol slai, vanqua sakengadem fradem a digalem, linquid winter buso galamsani. To go beneath Grimos Nigawi, Renkasi a Krimadrem de Nagao Edent, Clos Duis, a Ruyet Nes Diri. Clois de Graman a Des Gideon, a Renta. As far no Fradi, Damagengadan, Yadiga la Dandian, as far no Fradi. Thou it Gaishidon, Agas Parnu Fradi, Thou it Gremo Sanabui.
What a strange ritual. I have never seen anything like it. The rituals of my village are not quite as scary. In any case, the Leme's story suddenly sounds way more plausible. The Denegad who performed the ritual was the villagers. We should go talk to Deirdre. What do you seek? We found your sanctuary and assisted in one of your blood rituals. Was the apparition we witnessed the demon the priests were talking about? What is clear is these priests know nothing and you know nothing. The ritual. I've never seen anything like it. I hoped you'd be able to explain what they were trying to achieve. As you can see, my companion is not a Renaigse like the others. He bears our likeness. Please share your knowledge with us. Grant us the chance to understand. Very well. I'll attempt to help you make sense of what you witnessed. The ritual you saw is a ceremony to summon forth the strength of our warriors. Our people have always lived in harmony with nature. Our very existence revolves around her. She talks to us and takes on many faces. What you have witnessed is just one of many. Confronting the threat that the Renoixi make up, we called them for their blessing, and they appeared to us. Can we contact them? I mean, is communication possible? What you witnessed was not a discussion, but if you visit a sanctuary, you may see one of the faces, and then you will be able to talk. Pass the mountains and head to the swamps. There, if you perform the ritual, you will see them come, though what you will hear may not be to your liking.
What a strange party we have here. Who are you to come and disrupt our solitude? Good day. We... You? You are on Olmenawi and at the same time, Renaixi. So it is possible to bond yourself on your faraway island. We are here because Teleme has asked us to carry out an investigation. They think that certain clans venerate a demon, an evil creature. We carried out our investigation of Vedlog on Chief Durdra in an attempt to discover the truth. And the clues have led us to find our answers in this sanctuary. Durdra sends you to seek out a demon? Curious. A man from your island came already a long time ago, full of questions he was as well. He had a small party of warriors with smoking tubes, and on their chests, a golden lion. A lion? The coat of arms of the Bridge Alliance, in our territory. Such boldness. They set up a camp near here, and then they disappeared, all of a sudden. Do you know where, precisely? It was a long time ago. I don't remember all that well. My memory has been leaving me of late. But it wasn't far from here. You will find it, I am certain. Ah! You are bringing back the memories. They were asking nearly the same questions you ask. these bodies almost entirely. These must be the Renaigze the Hermit told us about. Probably. You can still discern the crest of the Alliance on this doublet. Let's search the area. There might still be something interesting. yellow hues. It represents a sort of insect.
The image is fading. I can't see much of anything. Presents a beast of the marshes, a red serpent. Strange stranger. I found this note. It speaks of a ritual, but it is incomplete. Do you know anything else about it? A ritual? Yes, there is a ritual for the impatient. For me, it serves no purpose. I am here. I wait. But for me, it would be useful. Can you help me? Deirdre must have her reasons. The folly of youth. Do you see those drums over there? They awaken the earth. As long as you play them correctly, they will awaken the earth. Oh, and that's not all. Once the earth is awakened, the stone will appear. That must be quenched. Quench a stone? But you're still here. What do you want again? We found the camp you spoke of. Well, all that remains of it. I told you, you were not the first Renagse went by here. Many died. What happened to them? I warned them, I remember. They did not listen very well. Too bad. Their weapons were strange, strange and powerful, but not enough so. The marsh is more powerful still. That doesn't seem to bother you all that much. Tiofradi gives, Tiofradi takes back. But you're still here. What do you want again? How do you play the drums? Oh, that's easy. The music is the first language of Tiofradi. It resonates with the earth. You need only respect the natural order for the earth to hear you. A predator, a prey. The cycle. That's not really all that clear. Come now, come now. You must first make the snake rattle, unless it is first to be the insect. Alas, time devours all memories. I do remember one thing, though. I'm listening. Each drum must only be played one time, and only once. But you're still here. What do you want again? Quench a stone. What does that mean? Water trickles on the stone and returns to us, empowered by its force. But sometimes, water is not enough. This note I found explains a recipe. A potion thought to contain the essence of this place. That's what must be poured over the stone. Oh, yes. No doubt. No doubt. But you're still here. What do you want to... Nothing. I shall leave you alone.
Something's appeared over there. It seems as if it's some type of altar. Looks like an altar. The stones! That must be where... What is this? Before she became a Nadaig. May the earth swallow you whole. You and those from their dark oil. They must all be destroyed. But in all Milfrikti men will stop them. He will chase you all away. Murderous! His hunt has begun! Calm down. We didn't have a choice. We were only defending ourselves. Sior, what is he talking about? Why is he so furious, and who is Enon Mil Frichterman? I believe he is furious because he knew the Nadaig before she bonded. He mourns her in this way. It was a Donegad who received very much power, and who traded herself completely. Are you saying that that creature was once a woman? Yes, like you and me. Anyone who draws upon the power of the Earth becomes one of their faces in exchange. As for your other question, Enon Mir Frichtemann means one of a thousand faces. This name rings a bell. I've heard it before. It is surely the name of the demon we seek to expose. Enon Mir Frichtemann. <laughs> I doubt that you can understand. But enough to think that this being wants us harmed. Perhaps it's the source of the Malachor. And why is that? Why would the source of your sickness come from here? I don't know, Siora. But didn't this man just say that this being would hunt us down? We need to learn more.
You survived. Which must mean, alas, that one of the Nadaig is with us no longer. You are a great warrior. You could almost be a storm warrior. What do you seek? You set a trap for us, invoking and releasing that creature. It is true. And the Nadaig is indeed one of the faces, a spirit of the oil. I was hoping that you would disappear. The swamps do not like to give back those who enter. You have seen things that no stranger to our clan has ever seen. Secrets that no one must know. But you survived. You are strong. I should not have taught you so weak. The ritual. This is how you prepare the blood sap. What are you talking about, Siora? No one knows the recipe. But it is the very barm that allows her warriors to enter into a trance and to rise again when they have fallen. It is true. You do not know the ingredients, but you know now how the blessing works. I have nothing more to give you than my excuses, and that you keep to yourself all that you have seen. Anything more? I need to be going. Gwawalem Seg. Desarde, I intend to prove to the Admiral that I fully identify as a Nott once more. Without regrets, I will have to go through a test of loyalty. It will certainly be dangerous, but with your help, I am convinced that I will succeed. So, shall we go and see her? With pleasure. Let's see what adventure she has in store for us.